Hello everyone, welcome or welcome back to my channel. As y'all read the title today, I will be showing you all how I make my nude lip gloss. So without further ado, if you have not already done so, please don't forget to subscribe to my channel, like this video, and also don't forget to hit that post notification bell so that you'll be notified each and every time I post a video. First of all, you're gonna need Versagel or some people might call it lip gloss base. Second, you're gonna need you a bowl. So you're gonna need the bowl to put the Versagel or the lip gloss base in. You're going to need you mixing utensils so you can either use you a fork or a spoon. Then you're going to need you some lip gloss flavoring oils. This is what this is going to um, give your lip gloss some scent or flavor. Then you're going to need you some lip gloss pigment. So since I'm making a new gloss, I'm going to be using this um, brown. I'm also going to be using white lip gloss pigment as well then you're going to need you your carrier oils and my carrier oils the oils that i'm choosing to use today is coconut oil and castor oil i'm going to make this plain and simple i'm not going to do too much talking but i do want to make sure that you all understand what's going on so when i make my new lip glosses you guys i like to use two different bowls i like to get one bowl so that i can mix my lip liquids in and then i'm going to put it with the versa gel as far as the measurements, I make this lip gloss wholesale on a weekly basis, so I know it's exactly how much I need to use. All you have to do is try to figure out the color that you're going for. I have more brown than I have white. That's how I always do it. And then I'm going to get my oils and I'm going to put a small amount of oil in it. So now I'm going to get my spoon, mix them together. And as you can see, I'm coming up with a different color. So, if the color is to your liking, if you think it's too light or if you think it's too dark, add more color. So, if you think it's too light, add more chocolate. If you think it's too dark, add more white pigment. Okay? I'm going to pour this whole mixture into my Bursa Gel. I'm going to make sure I get all of it out. Once that is done, I have the color that I like, and then I'm just going to mix this up together just a little bit. Once I've done that, you mix it together. Now you can see exactly how much oil you need. Okay, guys, my camera cut off. Basically, you're just going to add your oils until you get to this consistency or something close to this consistency here. Now, for the final step, I'm going to add my lip flavoring oil. I'm going to do 10 drops. Basically, once you're finished everything, you're finished your gloss, you find the perfect color, the perfect consistency. What you're going to do is you're going to add them to your lip gloss tubes, jars or pouches or whatever it is that you want to fill them in. So for me, like I said, I'm a U.S. based wholesaler. I have eight ounce jars. So you can fill them in eight ounce jars. You can fill them in squeeze pouches. Or you can also fill them into lip gloss tubes. So what I'm going to be doing is these are the same jars that I use for my wholesale lip glosses. I'm going to get my jar. And what I'm going to do is carefully, carefully add this into my jar, such as so. Okay, guys, so this is the ending result. I finally made my lip gloss. It's looking good, smelling good, and it's a beautiful shade of brown. And a key tip is the more pigment you use, the more it'll show up on your lips. So um, if y'all enjoyed this video or found that this video was helpful, don't forget to give me a thumbs up. And also comment down below if you have any questions on how to start a business or anything of that nature. So if you want to see how I fill these into lip gloss tubes, um, that video will be posted as well. So I'll see you guys in the next video.